Snap. A twig cracks under your heel. Uh Uh-oh. You feel the cold sweat covering your back. You slowly turn your head without moving any other part of your body. Whew, lucky you. That huge brown bear right behind you didn't hear your mistake. It's too deep in its slumber. You tiptoe away, carefully looking at the ground not to step on any other twigs. Bears, like many other animals, mostly sleep away the winter to survive the hungry times. They eat not only fish and meat, but plants as well. And it's a challenge to find berries and acorns under the thickness of snow. So winter is a hard time for them. But evolution has given bears the ability to skip this hungry time and just sleep. It's called hibernation. When it gets cold, the bear looks for a cozy lair. Usually, they lay it out with hay or branches. Then the bear lies down comfortably and falls asleep. Bears do suck their paw while they sleep, but it's not because they're hungry. Their skin is renewing itself and itching because of that. So when they lick, they just want to scratch the itch. A bear's sleep is very sensitive. It's easy to wake it up. And if you do, you better be careful. When a bear wakes up, it's very hungry and angry. And it may like you for its breakfast. Sometimes, bears that wake up from hibernation unplanned just can't go back to sleep. So they're forced to roam the woods in search of food. But this is next to impossible in winter, and they just fall down exhausted. Normally, bears sleep alone in their lairs. But if a female has recently given birth, it takes them along with it. While mother sleeps, the babies suckle her milk. And when her hibernation ends, they leave the den as grown guys with thick fur. These big guys can go up to six months without food. It's all about metabolism. Animals eat to replenish their energy reserves, which are spent to maintain normal body temperature. So if you lower your body temperature, the energy amount to maintain it will drop. When a bear sleeps, its body temperature drops to 86 degrees. Its breathing and heart rate also drop significantly and the period that the bear may not eat becomes longer. The body starts to use up the energy stored in the bear's fat. During hibernation, a bear can lose half of its weight. Their alarm clock is the warmth of spring and an extreme sense of hunger. You can feel hungry if you haven't eaten for four hours. Imagine how these guys feel after six months of starvation sleep. But the absolute record holders in hibernation are the Arctic ground squirrels. They can sleep from early August to late April, so they spend most of the year and most of their lives sleeping. While doing so, this squirrel just turns to ice. Its body temperature drops from 98 to 26 degrees, and its brain temperature stays just above freezing. Squirrels or bears don't need a special organ to fall asleep for long periods of time. Neither do humans. Actually, we already can lower our body temperature. It drops a little bit even during a normal night's sleep. But that's not enough to lower our metabolism to keep us asleep for long. So we need to cool down even more. Yet our body doesn't like drops in temperature. Let's see how it goes with our volunteer, Bob. When it gets cold, Bob's body starts redistributing heat by priority. Hands and feet aren't at the top. All the heat concentrates on the vital organs, leaving the extremities to freeze. Instead of slowing down, Bob's breathing and heart rate speed up instead. This is to get heat to all the important organs. We lower the thermostat even more. Now the body takes the heat away from the surface and directs it inside. This causes Bob's skin to turn white like a snowman's. Oh, now he suddenly wants to visit the restroom. Yep, because of the rapid blood flow, Bob's body is producing more waste, and he wants to get rid of it urgently. Temperature going even lower. Okay, now it's hard for him to even move. Because humans have a thin layer of fat, well, some thinner than others, our insulation is rather weak. The cold gets to the muscles and they freeze like an ice statue. Only now, Bob's heart rate begins to slow down. But this happens dramatically, and it's not the effect we were looking for. If we keep lowering the poor guy's body temperature, he will lose consciousness eventually, and his internal organs will simply shut down. Okay, that's enough. Let's turn up the heat here and give our poor man some warm clothes, a cup of tea, and some applause for being a good sport. Besides skipping the cold season, 
hibernation has practical applications, and NASA sees this as a real possibility. It takes about 9 months to fly to Mars, and every pound of cargo costs a lot of money. So, naturally, they want to find a way to get the astronauts to eat less. Putting them in hibernation pods is a great idea. It requires leaving one crew member awake, and they can monitor the condition of their colleagues. When the space navigation system says they've arrived at their destination, they'll wake up the sleepers. Uh, just make sure the computer's not named AL-9000. That didn't turn out so well. So far, scientists can't figure out how to lower our body temperature safely. But nobody stops us from imagining what our hibernation would look like. So all the people on our planet have locked themselves up in their cozy homes. We need to make sure we curtain the windows so the sunlight doesn't interfere with us. Oh, and don't forget to leave some food next to the bed. You'll be awfully hungry when you wake up. And so the sleep begins. Since absolutely everyone on Earth is asleep now, no one is keeping our cities alive, and they begin to change. After 24 hours of slumber, power plants around the world begin to shut down, and the lights in many cities go out. Now there's no TV or internet. But there's a place that still shines like a diamond – Las Vegas. It's powered by a giant hydroelectric plant, and it can run unattended for a long time. But nobody needs the lights of Las Vegas. The world is seeing other dreams. After a week of sleep, uninvited guests come into our homes. Raccoons crawl into trash cans and scamper through fridges. Apparently, they found the front door key. Without electricity, fridges in supermarkets and restaurants will stop working. Food and groceries are starting to spoil. This smell will lure different scavengers and pests. A month since the sleep's begun. Wild animals seek refuge in the empty cities. And if previously a deer could only be seen outside the city, now they freely roam the streets. Three months have passed. We usually clean up the snow that falls on the streets. But no one's been doing that now. Urban utilities can't handle such a load. When the snow begins to melt, it leads to partial flooding. Water gets into the subways and basements. And then spring arrives. Your alarm clock makes you wake up. Oh, you feel terribly cold and want to warm up quickly. The next thing you do is grab the food you made yourself to wake up to. I sure hope it hasn't spoiled in three months. People come out of their homes and begin to deal with the aftermath of their hibernation. They have to chase away the animals that are already used to running through the empty streets. Then the electricity and internet have to be restored. After a few weeks, our world takes on its usual appearance, and all the people are happy because they were able to skip their least favorite season of the year. There's an option for those who want to sleep longer than any animal in our world. In fact, it's just a trip to the future. It's a one-way ticket because this option is freezing. Scientists these days can flash freeze your body at extremely low temperatures. This kind of freezing is supposed to stop the aging process. So in a frozen state, your body can last a very long time. Now, the only problem is that the current technology is very damaging to our body when it's deep frozen. That's a big problem. All we have is hope for scientists and doctors of the future. In the years to come, they might be able to regenerate damaged tissues, and then they can bring frozen people back into the world. Imagine waking up a thousand years later and seeing a wondrous new world with flying cars, deep space travels, and androids living among us. Nah.